we all know Srinivas Ramanujan, an ace mathematician who contributed so much in so little time. You can see the period for which he lived, 1887 to 1920. How much period is that? 33 years. In that period of time, most of us, you know, are gearing up for life. We are just waking up to face the challenges of life. And that's the age in which Srinivas Ramanujan left a mark for himself, for the benefit of the entire society, for the benefit of the Indians. 1920, and now it's 2022. 102 years after his death, we are looking at what did he do for us. That's the amount of contribution he gave to the world. So in this video, I'm going to pay tribute to Srinivas Ramanujan by taking into account some of his achievements. And I'm sure this is going to leave you puzzled. And I'm sure you are going to research on these contributions made by Srinivas Ramanujan. Let's see what do we have on our channel first. You know, the Navratra season is going on and we have the best offers for all our students. The ebook of short tricks, the reasoning course. This is a combo offer which is going on at a very nominal cost at present. So we have worked so much, you know, on this ebook of short tricks, 24 different topics covered through short tricks. And uh, we have the video support also. You know, whenever you get stuck anywhere, you can watch the videos. So there's no way you can feel uh, discomfort, you know, when you are uh, studying this course. And if you are looking to upskill yourself 10 times faster speed of calculations, then this is the course for you. For CBSC students, we have lots and lots of worksheets, exclusive worksheets not found anywhere on the internet or in any print form. So you need to send me a message on WhatsApp 989636963. That's the number. And I'm I tell you, we spend lakhs of money on, uh, you know, on our education. If you spend just about a thousand rupees, you are going to get something which is so, so very useful. So friends, I'll wait for your messages on this number. And let's now get into the contributions made by Srinivas Ramanujam. I tell you, these are going to be amazing things for you to learn in a single video. So watch the entire video uh, and feel benefited. Let's see. The first thing, which is the most common thing for Ramanujan, you know, whenever you uh, hear about the word Srinivas Ramanujan, this is what comes into your mind, the Hardy Ramanujan number. So when, uh, you know, there's a long story, okay, you can read it on internet, I don't want to review that story. But Ramanujan came up with the concept that, and that too, it was instantaneous, you know, he, he, he didn't uh, work on it. It struck his mind. Uh, you know, at that very time when he saw a taxi number 1729, a taxi number. And somebody said, his friend, you know, he said, uh, it, the number seems to be very boring. But he said, no, it's a very interesting number, actually, because that number 1729 is the smallest number which can be expressed as a sum of cubes of two natural numbers in two different ways. So 1 cube is 1 and 12 cube is 1728, 9 cube is 729 and 10 cube is 1000. Both of these gives 1729. There's no number below 1729 which follows this property. And after that, there was a string of numbers, you know, which started flowing in. But 1729 happens to be the smallest number. And that was put forth by the great Srinivas Ramanujan. After that, if you want to know something more about this uh, Hardy Ramanujan number, I must tell you that 1729 is, you know, expressed as a product of primes. So I have written it there 7 times 13 times 19. If you take the product, you will get 1729. There are very few numbers which can be expressed as product of primes. You know, it's very difficult to actually make factors of 1729. 
because the students know the divisibility rules of 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 10 11 they don't know the divisibility rule of 7 how do you check whether a number is divisible by 7 or not especially when it is a like five digit or a seven digit number and that's where the problem is 1729 has no other factor below 10 other than 7 and above 10 13 19 if it is difficult to identify whether a number is divisible by 7 or not then it's all the more difficult to identify divisibility by 13 or divisibility by 19 and that's what is the beauty of the brains he had the ace Srinivas Ramanujan. So he told us that it is, uh, you know, it is a product of three prime numbers, 7, 13, and 19. And after that, you know, a lot of researchers went into it and, you know, uh, the largest known uh, number which follows the property that it can be expressed as a sum of cubes of numbers in two different ways is 8856238908831. And how can it be expressed as a product of primes? Look at the prime numbers here. They are all four digit, five digit prime numbers. You know, now we have supercomputers, we have, uh, you know, smart machines which work for us. And, uh, you know, but we created those machines, right? And there was uh, initially, you know, when he worked, uh, Srinivas Ramanujan worked, there were no uh, huge machines to assist us. It was all his own creation, his own thinking. And that's the beauty of the contribution made by him in such a small age. Look at the prime numbers there. They're huge prime numbers, right? If somebody asks us to uh, list down factors of a five-digit number, it's going to be difficult. Okay, so let's see another thing. Now, this is a Hardy Ramanujan number, right? 1729. You know, the date of birth of Ramanujan, 22 December, 1887. That's the date of birth. We celebrate that as National Mathematics Day, right? And the sequence in which the digits appear in his date of birth 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, 8, 8, 7. You know, we can have an operation in which we will have all these digits in the same order. 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, 8, 8, 7. So I'll show you here. Look at this. 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, 8, 8, 7. Now I've put some operations in between all those digits. You can check minus plus into divide, all those things, right? And some brackets also. Just try and calculate the expression. Just simplify that expression. You will be surprised that you get the same number again. And what is that number? The Hardy Ramanujan number, 1729 from his date of birth. And that's not all. The death anniversary of the great Srinivas Ramanujan happens to fall on 26th April, 1920. Now, what are the digits there? The digits there are 26041920. Now, you can actually have an expression in which all those digits come in the same order, the same order which I was talking about, and still you will get the same Hardy Ramanujan number 1729. So you can calculate this and check whether you are getting a 1729 or not. I'm sure you are going to feel happy about it. And that's the beauty of, you know, mathematics. It's everywhere, you know, it's only that you should be able to identify mathematics around you and you start appreciating mathematics. So that was about 1729. You know, Ramanujan was like uh, uh, an ace, you know. He heard that uh, students are doing those magic squares, right? You know, where the row totals and the column totals and the diagonal totals are exactly the same. And they were following like one or two magic squares with which uh, came from other countries. So he started working on the magic squares also. And believe it or not, he made a magic square out of his date of birth. Yes, out of his date of birth. And watch the entire video, friends. 
you are going to make a magic square out of your date of birth after watching this. Everybody will be a magician, a mathematician. Students, watch this. This is what he propounded. He said, okay, 22nd December 1887. So 22nd, that 22 forms the first number in the 4 by 4 matrix here. December is the month number that is 12. 18 is the century and 87 is the year. 22nd, 12th, that is December 1887. So you have four numbers there. You can also write your date of birth like this in a 4 by 4 grid. And now Ramanujan wrote some numbers there. I'll relate the numbers and then I'll tell you the rule how you can do it. So can you see this 22 is related to some of the numbers like 25, 23, 24? It's related to that, right? So you can see we are increasing or decreasing 22 by some quantity like add, add 1, you get 23, add 2, you get 24, add 3, you get 25. Getting it? And then there are some numbers which are very closely related to 12, just like this 9, 10, 11. They are very closely related to 12. And some numbers which are very closely related to 18, like this number 17, then we have this number 19, and then this number 16. And the remaining numbers are all close to 87, see, 88, 89, 86. Now, the most surprising thing here is the rows. All the rows will add up to 139. All the columns will add up to 139. All the diagonals are going to add up to 139. But he thought beyond that. And now you are going to watch the magic. So if you have a 4x4 four four grid like this, I'll draw a rough grid here so that I can just explain it to you. What other properties does this magic square have? So if you have a magic square like this, check these four. You are going to find that the sum is again 139. Check these four. Again 139. Check these four. Again 139. And check these four. Again, 139. Four more patterns there. And you have so many other patterns. I'll tell you, these magic squares, this is not a traditional magic square. It is something special. It's the output of a brilliant and a genius brain. Check these two and these two. That means these four. 139 again. Check these two and these two. 139 again. Check the corners. 139 again. And this, these ty type of patterns in the magic square in, uh, which Ramanujan brought up from his date of birth continues on and on. Maths is amazing, friends. Amazing. And you know, you'll be surprised to find how the total comes out to be 139 every time from Ramanujan's date of birth. You can try using your own date of birth. Even if you get some negative numbers in the grid, doesn't matter. Your total for all these patterns, which I'm telling you is going to be the same. So I'll just give you a uh, overview of how you have to make this. And then you can take the screenshot, try that and display it on your, uh, on your every, everywhere on your social media, right? And display uh, that in front of your friends. You will feel like a superman, okay? Okay, so you can make your own magic square from your DOB that is date of birth. Now this is date of birth. Suppose I take my own date of birth. This is DD that means two digit date. It can be a single digit date also. Then MM, this is the month number. This is the century. Uh, most of you, uh, the students there, school students will be having a 20 here because 20, uh, if you are less than 22 years of age, then it is 20 something. Okay, then the year. So year can be a single digit number or a double digit number depending on in which year you were born. So take DD, MM, CC, YY like that and now write all other numbers 
the in the manner which i have shown there so you can see this is the entry here is year plus 1 year minus 1 year plus 2 century minus 1 month minus 3 date plus 3 century minus 2 date plus 2 month minus 2 century plus 1 date plus 1 and month minus 1 try this friends take your date of birth try this let me know in the comments below whether your answer is correct or not and let's salute the man himself shrinivas ramanujan for giving us all these precious things i tell you this video is a very compact video in which i have taken up only hardy ramanujan number and the concept of magic square from date of birth but his contributions are infinite and if you start studying srinivas ramanujam you are going to be more appreciative of his contributions towards the field of mathematics